Good morning and blessings to everybody. Let's go ahead and begin our prayer service. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 82. God has taken his place in the divine council. In the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy. And deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods, sons of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, like men you shall die, and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark, the 13th chapter. And as he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what wonderful stones and what wonderful buildings. And Jesus said to him, And do you see these great buildings? There will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, and John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things are about to be accomplished? And Jesus began to say to them, See that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and they will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. These are but the beginning of the birth pains. But be on your guard. For they will deliver you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them. And the gospel must first be proclaimed to all nations. And when they bring you to trial and deliver you over, do not be anxious beforehand what you are to say, but say whatever is given you in that hour, for it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. And brother will deliver brother over to death, and father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and they will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved." But when you see the abomination of desolation standing where it ought not to be, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down, nor enter his house to take anything out. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas, for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days, pray that it may not happen in winter. For in those days there will be such tribulation as has not been from the beginning of creation that God created until now, and never will be. And if the Lord had not cut short the days, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect whom he chose, he shortened the days. And then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or look, there he is, do not believe it. False Christ and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. But be on guard. I have told you all things beforehand. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Lenten catechesis for today is, what does such baptizing with water signify? We are sunk under the water. 
which passes over us and afterward are drawn out again. These two parts signify baptism's power and work. It is nothing other than putting to death the old Adam and effecting the new man's resurrection after that. Both of these things must take place in, all, in us all our lives. So a truly Christian life is nothing other than a daily baptism, once begun and ever to be continued, without ceasing. We always keep purging away whatever belongs to the old Adam. Then what belongs to the new man may come forth. But what is the old man? It is what is born in human beings from Adam. Anger, hate, envy, unchastity, stinginess, laziness, arrogance, yes, unbelief. The old man is infected with all vices and has by nature nothing good in him. Now, when we have come into Christ's kingdom, these things must daily decrease. The longer we live, the more we become gentle, patient, meek, and ever turn away from unbelief, greed, hatred, envy, and arrogance. Faith alone makes the person worthy to receive profitably the saving divine water. Since these blessings are presented here and promised through the words in and with the water, they cannot be received in any other way than by believing them with the heart. Without faith, it profits nothing, even though baptism is in itself a divine, overwhelming treasure. Therefore, this single phrase, whoever believes does so much. You see plainly that it is no work done here by us, but a treasure, which God gives us in faith grasp. It is like the benefit of the Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross, which is not a work, but a treasure included in the word. It is offered to us and received by faith. When our sins and conscience oppress us, we strengthen ourselves and take comfort and say, Nevertheless, I am baptized, and if I am baptized, it is promised to me that I shall be saved and have eternal life, both in soul and body. Christ, 
have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. O Lord, by your bountiful goodness, release us from the bonds of our sins, which by reason of our weakness we have brought upon ourselves, that we may stand firm until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, the consolation of the sorrowful and the strength of the weak. May the prayers of those who in any tribulation or distress cry to you graciously come before you, so that in every situation they may recognize and receive your gracious help, comfort, and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, protect the tempted, the distressed, and the erring, and gently guide them. By your great goodness, bring them into the way of peace of truth. Graciously regard all who are in trouble, danger, temptation, or bondage to sin, and those to whom death draws near. In your mercy, draw them to yourself through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, 
that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>